Over the last 20 years, there's been about $2 billion spent on exploration in northern Saskatchewan. On exploration, looking for uranium. And during that time, we have managed to find six different deposits, totaling about 700 million pounds. For investors, you want to get behind those companies that are going to make the next big discovery and get that payoff. So I want to talk today about the four characteristics that we have seen consistently amongst those companies that do make those discoveries. The first characteristic that we see commonly amongst all of these companies is a large strategic land package. None of these discoveries are random. They're typically in packages that are on trend with other known mineralized areas. If you're looking at R, if you're looking at Arrow, if you're looking at ISO Energy's hurricane deposit, it's fairly evident that these discoveries were made within large packages and that they were adjacent to and typically on trend with other known deposits in the area. So why does this matter for investors? When you're exploring for uranium in the Athabasca Basin, you're typically looking on structures, you're following trends, and you really do need room to pivot. You, you will find early indications of what it is you're looking for, and you need the elbow room to go out and follow it up and track it to where you're going to be finding hopefully a large deposit. If you're dealing with a very small package in a small area, you're going to very quickly run out of space. The second characteristic that we see common amongst these companies is a very serious financial commitment. There is a great deal of preparatory work that happens on all of these projects, be it from geophysics through to the initial drilling that takes place. And time after time, we've seen it's taken between 20 to $40 million just to hit that first discovery hole. This isn't promotional drilling. This is systematically chasing targets chasing indicators and following up drilling time after time in order to find that, that, that discovery. Because remember, these deposits are fairly small. Relatively speaking, a uranium deposit is really no bigger than a football field. So why does this matter to investors? Exploration is expensive. It's very expensive in this part of the world. And if you're an underfunded company, if you're under drilling, if you're not doing the amount of work that it does take to actually find that deposit, you're going to fall short. Time after time, we've seen companies have to walk away from deposits that weren't found only because they didn't have the cash and the money and the persistence to, to make it happen. That takes us into our third point, which is that all of these companies have shown great persistence in their exploration efforts. We've seen in many cases it's taken 80, 90, sometimes 100 holes just to define a proper resource. When Fission identified the Triple R deposit, they drilled as many as 100 holes actually following a trail of, of radioactive boulders before they found the actual deposit. There's a different mindset you'll find with many juniors who too quickly pivot away from, from a project or a program that isn't showing them exactly what it is they're looking for. So why does this matter to investors? The company that you're following has to be demonstrating that sort of persistence. They can't be giving up after one program that is, is falling short of their investors' expectations. They have to be demonstrating that there is a process to what they're doing, that they're following up appropriately on each drill hole and, and having the wherewithal and the fortitude to actually take it right through to a deposit. If a company is pivoting from one program to another, from one target to another, without showing that sort of persistence, then they're probably just chasing sentiment rather than discovery. Fourth characteristic that we see in all of these companies is actually the real payoff. We're seeing that all of these companies were drastically re-rated right after discovery. NextGen went from $0.30 cents to $3.50 in less than a year after their discovery at Arrow. Subsequent to Hathor finding Rough Rider, they were acquired by Rio Tinto for $654 million. This is a company that was trading less than a dollar for most of its career. And Fission Uranium and ISO Energy both saw hundreds and hundreds of percent increase in their shares months after their discoveries. What all of these companies had in common was that re-rating was not incremental. It was a step change and it happened very quickly. And why this matters to investors is that the value in uranium exploration isn't linear, it's binary. Remember, uranium exploration companies may be lying flat for a number of years before that discovery happens, but when it does, that's when you want to be holding their stock. If the company has the land, it has the capital, and it has the stamina, you've got a shot at being there when that discovery happens. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please check out these two as well.